What's up guys, it's Mac, we're back. And today, we're out on the big lake, doing something a little bit different. Today, I got this uh, water wolf underwater camera with me. And we're gonna try trolling it on a three-way rig for lake trout. And behind it, I'm gonna start out with the old faithful, the old classic, been around forever. The old Lenny, five of these. And I got a little bit of a modification on there. I had a real old boy from, I think he guided up on Reindeer Lake. He told me up there, the hot ticket was always bending the nose a little bit to get a little bit of a different action. So we'll see, we'll try it, we'll give it a go. Give the old boy a try, see how she works. The old lucky Lenny. So, no further ado, let's get this show on the road. of diamonds is not panning out so we're going to change it out to uh, a Rapella X wrap jerk bait it's a little bit smaller a little bit different color a little bit different profile so we'll see if that convinces some fish to snap I definitely marked a lot of fish there so I'm confident that they just weren't biting this bait we'll see on the footage maybe there was uh, follows and stuff like that but didn't feel too much on the end of the rod, so we're gonna try something a little bit different. All right, so we're changing up from that spoon to this little Rapella X wrap. I think this is a six inch size, maybe. Nice little bait, a little bit of a dress trouble on there. Hopefully we can convince some fish to bite. It should be, uh, it should be able to get a pretty good stable speed for this as well. while trolling or downrigging, whatever, any sort of um, lure you're gonna use while moving the boat, always look at it in the water beside the boat first. Like, and try to figure out what speed is gonna make that lure look the best. What, uh, like forward or backwards, whatever. If you gotta go a certain direction with your boat to get that right speed, really focus on attention to detail with the trolling baits. Try to make sure you're getting that proper action. It's really important to make sure that that bait is doing what you want it to while it's down there because you're not actually able to see it. So always make sure your baits are doing what you want. All right, so I noticed a lot of fish are coming in up high. So what I'm gonna do is I flip the live scope around so it's facing towards the back of the boat now. And we can actually see my bait here once this straightens out. Once this boat straightens out, you'll be able to see my bait hanging out. And I'm gonna try to keep it at that like 30 foot down level. There's my bait right here starting to appear. So I'm gonna keep my bait there and see if I can get any of these fish to commit. There's the fish following it right now. Pretty clear to see that now. Bait, the bait's right here. And there's trout just kind of surrounding it right now. I'm just kind of giving a few pulls here and there to try to get them to go. They're definitely charging towards it, but they're not hitting yet. Oh, I want to say that I missed it. Four trout following the bait. The bait is absolutely surrounded. It's super cool to see it. Like, the technology of this live scope stuff is freaking absolutely insane especially the water like this like i mean to be able to see your bait 100 feet away and see fish following it is ridiculous big fish I'm sure but it's a fish and it's on the underwater camera Got her on film boys 
there you have it. We got a lake trout on the underwater camera. Not a big one, but it's a lake trout. Let's go. Woo! So what I did to get that one to bite, as you saw there is, I just started reeling in. I like I could see it on the screen, it was above me. So I started reeling in to get up above it as well. And it seemed like it definitely wanted the speed. It definitely liked that faster pull. So basically what I'm doing here, like I'm trolling, there's a bit of a, a bowl sorts. Like it's a basically a long underwater finger. And it comes up to about 50, surrounded by about close to 100. And there's a little bit of a kind of a hump off of it, per se, like a little bit of a, it's just basically like a kind of a semi-circle off of it. Basically a little horseshoe, a little bit deep in water, uh, which is like 70 feet is basically what I'm going over. And that's kind of where there's a lot of bait fish kind of getting pushed right now from the wind. And the lake trout are definitely in there just smashing bait right now. So that's kind of what I'm going off of. I mean, it's kind of picture perfect. Got wind pushing up against a piece of structure and I'm on the wind blowing side of it. So it's picture perfect right now. It'll be more picture perfect if we can get a bigger fish though. Definitely not a big fish. Ooh, 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 ooh. Still got his milk teeth. Oh. If you're gonna drop a fish, always drop it in the lake. Oh, it puked on me. My good life jacket. bait fish which are Cisco is pushed up along this uh, underwater point right now it's crazy just seeing schools and schools and schools and they're all getting actively chased as I turn you should be able to see it again Super cool, we even caught that in the live scope. That's super cool to see. This is some high tech lake trout trolling. Literally watching my bait the whole time I'm trolling. It's freaking crazy. There's maybe or something. Holy smoke, bro. Okay. Trying to smash the camera up too bad. Move the camera up. Another lake trout on the underwater camera. Wicked. That's so cool to see. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it very far. There's fish chasing it already. Our bait is 
perfectly in line with another trout that's coming in here. Put the speed up a little bit. Projected. All right, that's a wrap on today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it a lot. I'm putting a lot of work into the channel, getting a lot more videos out there, and I appreciate it when you guys subscribe and like and comment and share the video, all the videos, it means a lot. And I'm super excited to see where this YouTube journey goes for me. Thank you guys for watching.